Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm KY. Really long time no see. And I apologize for my absence on YouTube for a long time. I was really busy and also I have got a dengue fever and hospitalized for one week. And it took me almost two weeks to fully recover. It was really really horrible like i have lost nearly four kilo i heard that now there are many cases reported of dengue fever in vietnam so i recommend you to use the anti-mosquito spray if you have a plan to visit to vietnam okay back to the main topic you know i have been working in vietnam for around five years and recently i have studied concerned about my future i need to work for next 10 years or 20 years to stay in vietnam in order to keep my work visa if i lose my job it means i lose the right to live in vietnam so i really need to think about my future job like how i can keep working sustainably and i think it's interesting topic for those who are thinking about working overseas for long term because it's not the end just get a job overseas you need to think about how you can survive in different countries so today's topic is how to step up my career in working overseas software engineer edition so you ready for this topic today let's get into it so the first thing to think about the career overseas is survive first three years generally speaking at least it's common way of thinking in japan but i think it's important to work for a few years at least to make an achievement if you quit soon then it would be more difficult to find the next job and also unlike the job hunting in your mother country if you cannot find the next job your working visa will finish and you probably need to go back to your country to be honest there were many moments when i wanted to quit before at the beginning i started my career as junior position and i had many painful moments so far but I could overcome the hardships and now I am in manager position. So if you want to step up your career overseas, sometimes it's important to try to survive in the company. Okay, so next, proactively change new role. If you work on the same role for a long time, you might come across one concern. That is, is it okay to keep doing the same job for a long time? Especially the middle aged people often get this concern. So it's called middle age crisis for example i worked developer role for a few years but after that i changed my role to project manager and business analyst because you know product development has many phases requirement definition designing implementation testing release and maintenance if i would keep working on the dev role i can only see a development part i want to have the experience of a whole process of the project so i try to change my role at the beginning when i joined the it field i I thought I will be a developer forever but now I'm enjoying the new role the more you have a wide range of experiences the more you can have a wider chance to try that's what I'm thinking about my career but it doesn't mean I quit the developer I still like programming and mobile app development so I keep developing a mobile app as my hobby okay so next one is be supportive for other members usually I'm busy for my own tasks but in order to be a manager or leader role, I figured out that the proactively supporting other members are important because I'm now working in the company organization. So I'm always working with my colleagues. You know, you are not the only one to be working in the project. We are working as team. So it's important to build a good relationship with others, also supporting junior members. It's not a good team to depend on a specific members too much from the viewpoint of load balancing. So always try to support other members if you can delegate your own tasks with other members it makes it easier for you to work and it's good for the company also you can improve a whole team okay so that's it for my today's video if you like it don't forget to subscribe and also put the thumb button see you in the next video goodbye